All right, we have liftoff, but we also have a problem. The first American commercial robotic launch to the moon is on its way tonight. A brand new Vulcan rocket successfully blasted off from Cape Canaveral, Florida, probably while you were sleeping just after 2 a.m. Eastern. Hours into the flight, however, Pittsburgh-based company Astrobotic Technology reported an issue with its lunar lander riding on top of the rocket. The spacecraft couldn't keep its solar panels pointed toward the sun to generate power, and it's now losing fuel. And the planned landing on the moon is in jeopardy. If the ground crew can resolve the issue, the lander is expected to reach the moon's surface next month, and it would be the first American spacecraft to land on the moon since 1972. Joining us now is former NASA astronaut Mike Massimo. He's also a Columbia University professor and the New York Times bestselling author. His new book aptly titled Moonshot, yes. a NASA's guide to achieving the impossible is out now. OK, this is a big deal because it's been decades since this since anything has landed, since we've yeah. sent anything to the moon or anything's landed on the moon. Oh, uh, well, if you remember, Earth. India has uh, landed, right. became the fourth country it was the United States, the Soviet Union. Back in the days, Back in the day. you know, and uh, China and now India most recently landed a spacecraft. The United States is the only country to have landed people on the moon back in the Apollo program. The significance of this is, as you said, it's the first time since the United States has sent something in, in over 50 years. But it's also the first commercial company that's, that's really the significance here is that this company, this, this astrobotic company, is sending a spacecraft to land on the moon. That's the first time a, a private enterprise has done that. In, that's a big in, deal. In conjunction with NASA. That's a big deal. Yes, and a lot yes, of people think it's governments. also the future, the way, it, the way space I, exploration I so. and space colonization is going to happen. I, I agree. I think it is. All right. Yeah. So tell me, this was in this. We keep hearing Elon Musk talk about, you know, and Jeff Bezos mm -hmm. talking about yeah. human beings living on Mars and mm -hmm. in different uh, floating, orbiting capsules mm -hmm. of, of different kinds. Mm -hmm. This landing on the moon was a big, important first step toward achieving that game. Mm -hmm. That yes. game. Why? Yeah. Well, uh, it's it's. I think NASA is pretty clever about this because they started this commercial program just like they did with. You mentioned SpaceX. The way we get astronauts to the space station now is a commercial crew program. Right. And that's how we get our astronauts there now. Also, our cargo goes up through a commercial program as well with SpaceX and uh, Northrop Grumman's, another company that does this. So they're doing the same thing with exploring the moon. There are six companies that are involved in this lunar payload program. Mm -hmm. And the first one was Astrobotic, who, who launched today. They had the first launch going. There's another one, Intuitive Machines that is going to be launching maybe in the middle of February was the plan. Maybe they'll wait a little bit to see what happens here. So it's a way to get commercial enterprise involved. They, they can uh, benefit from it economically. It's not just NASA payloads, science payloads, mm -hmm. but also commercial payloads that are going to the moon. Right. And it's also going to pave the way for human space flight again to the moon. So to me, that's that's what I think is, is interesting for my So for my what went wrong? I mean, obviously, they're having an issue with the mm -hmm. solar panels, they're, so they're losing fuel. Is this whole thing in jeopardy? Is it not going to land? Well, on it may not land. What they were saying, you know, we should keep track of what's happening, but the latest is they, if they think, if it is what they think it is, which is a fuel leak. So you mentioned the solar panels. They couldn't point them. They needed to get them in the direction of the sun to charge their batteries, or else it's game over. That's the end of the spacecraft. If you can't charge the batteries, you can't keep it warm, the thing will not be be able to, and to you live. can't maneuver it to get the Well, that was the thing is they were, they were having trouble maneuvering. I think they finally got the maneuver down. So now they are charging the batteries. The last I heard, they were happy about that. So it but might the, still work. Well, they'll be able to keep the spacecraft alive, hopefully. But the, but the reason, the problem they think they were having to make this maneuver to point it toward the sun is they didn't have, they were losing fuel. They had a propellant leak. And if that's the case, they have to do a series of engine burns to get into lunar orbit and then to come down and land. And if they're out of fuel, they're not going to be able to do that. So they're already looking at other things they could do beside landing. So given we have this launch today, we have mm -hmm. another launch in February, all Hopefully. headed to the moon. Yep. When is the next time we're going to see a human being up there walking around? Walking around, that's harder. Right? So, <laughs> so I think we will send a couple, uh, we'll send three Americans and, a, and a, a Canadian astronaut. The crew's been picked out, the Artemis II crew. They'll go to the moon. I'm, I'm pretty sure we should be able to pull that one off. Uh, by the end of the year, hopefully, and do it, do an orbits around the moon and do a lot of testing of the spacecraft. 
The landing's different because you've, then you've got to enter orbit and go down to the to the surface and then come back up. Yeah. And that's where it gets really tricky. That is probably a few more years away. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.